Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting outrageous toy review. Today we're taking a look at a vintage G.I. Joe, it's Televiper. Welcome to the SEO toy review portion of Cobra Convergence 4. This is an awesome fan collaboration project put together by Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here on YouTube. And I picked the Televiper from 1985 as my review. Uh, Cobra Convergence, we always focus on Cobra characters and the initial theme was blue. And I didn't really want to just do the like the blue shirt Cobra Trooper or Cobra Officer. And the first guy that popped in my head that wears a lot of blue is Televiper. Televiper was released as a Cobra action figure in 1985. That year we saw the release of quite a few Trooper characters for the Cobra Legions. And Televiper was in charge of radio and telecommunications. Televiper is a pretty basic action figure for 1985. He's got a sort of bulbous head because his helmet is permanently sculpted on and non-removable. Common for Cobras. Um, it is nice when helmets are removable though, especially for the Joes. He came with a black backpack, a black scanner weapon, as well as a hose that could connect the two. So he didn't really have a lot of bells and whistles, not a lot of frills, but I do like the design of the character quite a bit. In a fictional military toy line that featured a lot of sci-fi elements, I always thought that the Televiper was a perfect blend of functional military gear as well as some sort of goofy sci-fi type elements. He's wearing a typical blue Cobra uniform with a purple tactical vest over top of that. Um, I always thought this looked good for the battlefield or in Cobra base. His equipment obviously doesn't really prepare him for combat at all, but he is a support trooper. His backpack and scanner device can be used to broadcast or jam transmissions. In the comic book, sometimes it was used as a TV screen on the end here to show video clips, while other times he would aim the camera scanner at Cobra Commander to broadcast a message, record a message and broadcast it of, of what the commander had to say. His helmet is sort of sculpted to look like it's got headphones and microphones built into it, so clearly the Televiper could send a lot of transmissions on his own. I always liked the silver visor on his helmet. In the cartoon show, sometimes words would scroll across it as like a heads-up display. I thought that was kind of a cool feature in the cartoon when it made sense, like if alert or alarm went across it. Uh, if, if it seemed like it was his thoughts, then I thought it was kind of kind of goofy. Uh, there is definitely some nice sculpting here. The, the chest vest piece is really cool with the uh, quilted pattern. He's got a small Cobra logo printed on his arm there. I'd say the belt buckle is kind of a weak point. It almost looks like it was supposed to be a Cobra logo, but it's not quite there. He definitely is a pretty plain figure, but I think it works well for the character. Other than his arms, the Televiper is molded completely out of blue plastic with all the purple and black and silver painted on, uh, as well as his face. That painted flesh tone is frequently a problem on these guys because you get paint wear on the nose. The original Televiper figure was sold in 1985 as well as 1986, and then the entire figure was repainted as part of Python Patrol later on in the series. I don't think the Python Patrol version is quite as cool looking. He did come with the exact same gear. Here's a closer look at the Televiper accessories. His scanner is shaped very much like a rifle with that stock on the end, uh, but the front is big, flat, and smooth. It does have some details sculpted into it, but it doesn't really explain what it does or how it works. I think it left quite a bit to kids' imaginations. These two items are connected with a standard G.I. Joe hose piece here, and the backpack I always thought was kind of cool. It's very sleek. It almost looks armored. It's got some dials and doodads here. It's got a very sturdy antenna, which is nice. Uh, oftentimes the antennas on backpacks are a little bit thin and sometimes a breakage point. And I always thought these little ridges down here, these vents, were kind of cool looking. As a radio communications specialist, the Televiper does the same job for Cobra that Breaker or Dial Tone does for the Joes, but I always felt like the Televiper had a little bit more technical background and wasn't just doing radios but also doing a lot of computer work, so I always thought he was kind of like mainframe as well. Most kids in the 80s probably weren't taking their Televipers on too many missions, but if they were lucky enough to have the Terradrome, I'm sure they had Televiper sitting in one of those computer stations. Televiper is often compared to Breaker because Breaker also came with no actual weapons, 
just a communications pack. Televiper did come with this funky scanner gun thing. I'm sure some kids used it as a gun. Kind of looks like an Arizuka. In issue one of the G.I. Joe comic book, there was a Cobra radio man who looked like a regular Cobra trooper minus his helmet wearing a headset. I actually made a custom figure of that guy one time using a hawk head and the Cobra Troopers from the Toys R Us packs from the early 2000s and I just kind of chopped up some breaker accessories from an accessory pack to make his headset and a little backpack form of the antenna. During Televiper's second year on the pegs in 1986, G.I. Joe debuted two characters that did similar job. We had Dial Tone, who's a radio communications expert, and Mainframe, a computer expert. The Televiper kind of had to do double duty, even though the Joes got two separate characters. One interesting thing to note, I couldn't find my loose standard dial tone. This is the Chinese version in the back here from the International Heroes line in his normal colors. This is the Brazil Mission version of dial tone. Mainframe was also repainted as a Brazil Mission figure, and many parts from the Televiper were used to create the Brazil Mission exclusive figure Claymore. Like most Cobra Troopers, I love to army build Televipers. I don't have very many complete ones, uh, but I picked them up loose out of collections and at, at toy shows if I can find them at a discounted price. I'm lucky enough to have a backpack for all of mine, but I need some scanners. Their backpacks and scanners were released in, in alternate colors a few times, so you can also pick those up. And I like to equip some of my guys with spare mainframe computers. The Televiper got used off and on in the comic books as well as in the cartoon show. Of course, he was used sparingly because, again, he's just a support trooper. He's never going to be the star of the story. When I do these reviews of vintage G.I. Joe figures, I love to show off clips from my stop-motion animated projects I did years ago. And just like his role in the cartoon and the comics as support, the Televiper just ran support in my video Operation Final Broadcast. So here's a few little clips of Televipers just kind of doing their Televiper thing. This is the place. Fireflies leave them. Hurry up, you loud. Sir, we're proceeding on schedule. Fine. Now, do it ahead schedule. Order some fireflies. Speed up construction. Mm -hmm. Okay. You heard it faster. They're coming up! For God's sake, do something. Sound the alarm! The first line of defense has been broken! I totally understand why some people think the Televiper is kind of plain, but to me, he is perfect. He fits in with Cobra, he's got a great blue color scheme. I think he looks really good with the original Cobra Trooper and Cobra Officer, as well as the hooded Cobra Commander figure. I love the techno details of his helmet and his backpack. Just enough sci-fi to make him really cool. Uh, I love it when Cobra amps up the sci-fi element just a hair more than the Joes. So I have always been a big fan of the Televiper. And that was my review of the 1985 Televiper. Next up on Cobra Convergence is Forgotten Figures. Make sure to check out their contribution to this fan collaboration project. One other person I gotta thank, I already mentioned him once, but I really, really gotta thank, oh wait. Oh, I, I had something, I'll be right back. Ah, what did I do with it? I had this really great thank you card I put together for HCC. Wait a minute. Who's touching my collection?